What's good, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to learn how to make your own custom glow-in-the-dark dominoes. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, you heard? All right, so like always, start off by pouring the resin. So I start off with part B, pouring them into two different cups. I have four cups laid out, but that's because I'm doing two different colors. So you start off, I'm pouring part B, and you know it's part B because that's the one that pours out faster. That's that's the one that's not as thick. And you're definitely gonna know the difference when pouring parts B and parts A. So you see how I ran out, but I got another bottle. You know, don't worry, your boy got the bottles on deck. Always got to re-up, always got to have your resin just in case, you know, we're going to make sure that we're using every drippity, drippity drop. All right, so we skipped all that pouring. I know you ain't really want to see that. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm pouring part B into part A because like I said, part B is the one that's not as thick. So that's the one that pours out faster. You don't want to be sitting there, standing, however you're doing it. You don't want to be taking all day trying to get every little nook and cranny out of part A into part B. So you just do pour part B into part A. It just works out a little faster. And once you get that pouring down, you know, you start the mixing. That's one thing with this resin. You got to get your whip game right. So you're going to be mixing. You're going to be mixing a lot, mixing a lot. Once you once you get that down pack, you're going to be straight though. So then you just keep mixing. So what I like to personally do, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you know a better way to do it. I usually just mix until it's like semi-clear because, you know, they say don't really mix until it's cloudy, but I got a heat gun. So the heat gun will get all of the bubbles out of the resin when you pour it and things like that. So I don't have to spend mad time just mixing and mixing. So right now, what I'm doing now is I have one of my dots. So I have an orange dot. So the colors I am using is orange and red. So I pour the orange dye into it and you pour just as much drops as you feel like you need. The more drops you pour, the darker the color, you can pretty much say. So I don't really want it that dark. I do want it kind of dark, but not really that dark. So I do want you to kind of like see it. So it's supposed to be like a little mixture and we're going we gonna to get to it. And then I just pour the red one. And then, you know, after you pour the drops, mix it up, mix it up. And once you mix in, that's when we're going to start pouring it into the resin mode. So once you finish mixing the dye in, now I have the glow in the dark pigment. So this is something I bought off of Amazon. Uh, if you really want the link, I can put it in the description. You know, just let me know in the comments if you want the link. I can start linking stuff on where I'm getting everything from. So usually like my rule of thumb, you don't really need too much to get the glow in the dark aspect of it. I usually just fill the cap, pour the cap into the cup, and then I just start mixing. And I do that for both. So I have, I think the pack came with like 12. So I just pour that in, then I mix it, mix it up. Now do remember, whichever glow in the dark pigment you put in, it can alter your colors. So just remember, just remember that, you know, whenever you're pouring in the pigment into your dyes and stuff like that, it can alter the colors. So keep that in mind. But yeah, like I said, you know, I just pour it, fill up the little cap, take that cap, pour it in the cup, then I just start mixing. And once you start finish mixing all of that, you know, I got it to how I like it. I'm gonna pour it into the Domino's mold, and I got the Domino's mold from Amazon as well. A lot of the things that I got, you get it from Amazon. Cups, you get from Dollar Tree. The popsicle sticks, you know, to mix it, get from Dollar Tree. All the resin molds I got, got that from Amazon. The dyes from Amazon. The pick, the glow in the dark pigment, got that from Amazon. Like, there's a lot of things that you can get, you know, from Am between Amazon and Dollar Tree and Michaels. Those are gonna be like, you know some of your main stores for a lot of these, you know, crafts, especially dealing with like resin and stuff like that. You're gonna get a lot of things from those three places. All right, so now we're done with all the mixing. So now it's time to pour it into the dominoes mode. So what I'm doing is I'm just pouring like a little bit because I wanted to do like half and half. So half the domino be like orange and the other half be like red. So you just pour a little bit, you know, and I just keep doing that throughout all the domino trays, all the domino slots. And just pour half, you know, just do it like a little half. And then we're gonna rinse and repeat with the, with the red, you know, pigment, with the red dye. And that's pretty much it for that part. 
So now I did all the orange. So now I'm gonna do the red. So as you see, I'm gonna be pouring the red on the opposite side. So it's supposed to get a little blended mesh kind of color, like a little orange and red color. I don't know if you've seen the um, Ciroc bottle, like the Summer Citrus. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, Ciroc Summer Citrus. I'm trying to give it that bottle flavor kind of look. You know, this is like a summer domino set. You outside chilling with the fam, chilling with your friends. Hey, let's, you know, let's play a game, da da da, da. That's really much it. So, you know, I'm just pouring that on each side. So it's supposed to get a little blend, blend of the orange, orange and red aspect of it. And you just do that for each individual domino slot. And this is the 28 um, domino pack. So if you play domino, you know, you know what that means for the most part. All right, so all of that's done. So you see, I still got a lot more of the, you know, resin mix left. So it's better to have more than not enough. So what I'm doing is, you know, I already know that I over mix them. So I have coasters ready. So I'm just trying to do the same aspect, half orange, half red on the coasters. Because, you know, I can either, I could sell this as a set, sell it individual, and the coasters is going to be glow in the dark as well. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. You know, we don't want to waste no, res no resin. Whatever resin you have left, you know, try to have, try to get other molds. If you want to do key change, things like that, like whatever else you feel comfortable doing, make sure you have those molds on standby, you know, so you can use the resin, the leftover resin for those, because we don't want to waste no, waste no resin over here. Everything is, you know, this, this resin cost is pretty expensive. And, you know, why not make something else, you know what I'm saying, to get a little more income from that. That's just how I see it. And now I pretty much finished with that. So now the only thing left to do is just, you know, I grab my little heat gun. I got this from Michaels as well. And I'm just getting all the bubbles. You know, if there's any bubbles that I see, I'm just getting it out. You know, I'm just going over each domino piece. I'll even go over the coasters as well. Because, you know, you don't want to have bubbles in the dominoes and things like that. And always just remember, like, you know, resin, there's no, like, perfect way to do this. There's only but so many ways. There's multiple ways you can do it, but no way is perfect. It's just some ways may seem a little better than others. But, you know, you may have some slight imperfections. If I can make the perfect domino set, trust me, I'd be doing it. At least with, you know, the materials and stuff that I have. But as far as like dealing with resin, I don't really see it. So you may see like slight imperfections here and there. But it's nothing that will make you be like, nah, 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 I don't want this. All right, so now pretty much is we let it dry. Um, usually let it dry for about like my personal preference is about five to seven, eight hours. You know, you let the let the resin dry, you know, let the domino molds dry and everything like that. And pretty much after that, we're going to take it out the box and then we're just going to start dotting it. So I'll probably just skip over this because nobody really want to see all of this. All right, and this is how, you know, the dominoes came out. So now it's time for, it's not that lengthy of a process, but, you know, we're going to get to it. So now it's time for the dotting of it. So I am going to use a yellow acrylic paint. And this is what's going to be, you know, the dotting of the numbers and the line in between. So the paint that I've gotten, I got it from Michaels. You know, like I said, you get three places. It could be one more, you know, maybe Joann's, depending on what else, what, you, what else you're getting from there. But it's going to be Amazon, Dollar Tree, Michaels, Joann's. All these craft places, you're going to get all of these stuff from. So I also have this bottle that I've got. I've ordered it from somebody. So it's a dotting tool. It, you know, it's pretty good. I, I can't say that it's bad. Like, this is my first time actually using it. But, you know, it's pretty quick. I was using a um, other dotting tool that I found in Dollar Tree. It was like a dollar. But the bottles that I got, I just filled it up with the acrylic paint. The acrylic paint. And, you know, I'm just using it to just dot the, you know, dot the O's and cross my lines. Um, after that, I just do the cleanup. I usually clean up. I usually I clean up with a disinfectant wipe. You know, I just wipe off the excess paint if it is any excess paint. And you know, it 
pretty much disinfects the dominoes as well because these are dominoes that I will sell, you know, things like that. Yeah, this right here, this is the, you know, me wiping it with the disinfectant wipe after I already, you know, filled in all the dots and stuff like that. You know, you just want to use a disinfectant wipe, go over it, kill the germs, get rid of the paint, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I'll finish letting the paint dry. Um, I usually give that about like two, three hours, even though it don't take that long, but I usually just give everything enough time to dry. And this is how it came out. So, you know, Looks pretty dope to me. Like I said, if you ever seen a Ciroc bottle, citrus, I think it's summer citrus is what it's called. That's pretty much like the vibes I was trying to give with this domino set. Um, and we definitely gonna show you, you know, the glow in the dark aspect of it too. But look, see, even the coasters came out fire. Got the little red, orange. Yeah, see, this drink came out fire. I like it, you know. Definitely leave a comment, tell me how yours came out, show me a picture, you know, everything. All right, so I know everybody wanted to see it. This is the glow in the dark aspect of it. Oh, that just look fire, right? Fire. Yeah, I know. Listen, definitely like, comment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Catch you next time.